Hello there, Erica Swarthy Daisy here. And I have my Note 3, and I wanted to figure out how to turn back on the predictive text on my phone because when I first got it, I turned it off because it was so annoying. It was inserting words that I didn't want there, and it was kind of um, suggesting words, and it was just kind of too much going on. But now, my texting and spelling is atrocious because <laughs> I'm on vacation and I cannot think of anything. So I'm like, how do I turn this thing back on? So let me show you real quick. What I did was to turn it back on and it works for turning it off as well is I went under settings and at the top you see controls, right? So I have that selected. Then I go to language and input. Okay. Then you see your options. You have your Samsung keyboard, Google Voice typing, automatic, whatever, whatever. So what I did was this little um, cog wheel, what do you call it, gear symbol. I went to Samsung keyboard, I tapped the gear, and then you see the option where it says smart typing. There's predictive text, okay? So right now I just sw switched it back on for demo purposes, but I'm going to switch it off, okay? You see they also have auto replacement and that really was annoying because it was throwing a lot of words in there that I didn't want. So let's look at how this predictive text um, feature off looks like. Okay, so when you open up a text message, I select the box and as you see if I'm starting to type, there's nothing popping up. Okay, so that if you are a great speller or you don't really mind uh, not having the suggestions, you can definitely turn that feature off. Now let's look at it turn back on. So back under the same settings, we're going to go to Samsung Keyboard, Predictive, predictive Text on, um, keeping auto replacement off. Um, I might show you how that looks as well, but let's just go with the, yeah, let's do that while we're at it. Let's go ahead and look at what it looks like now. Okay, so as you see, uh, the text box is ready for input, and they already have some words that they're suggesting. So I can tap on the word, or I can just start writing the message. So the dog, so you see they have all these suggestions. It can be dog or fog or dig. They don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, is a good idea, right? So that's just showing you how the predictive text um, kind of works. They try to predict what you're going to text to another person. Um, let's see. Now, if I erase that message and I start with a first letter, right? It could be anything. They might, they're thinking we're going to say hey or how. I go down on the arrow. Some more options. Hope here, hello, have, he, ha, you know. So they don't know what I'm trying to say, but they're predicting. If I hit this arrow, it says tap to skip auto replacement, okay? So sometimes you're trying to say, trying to type a certain word and it'll kind of predict some things. Let me show you. So here I've written hell wo, hell wo. <laughs> so let's see what happens when we hit, because you see that um, space bar is blue. So let's see what it's going to predict. So as you see, it changed it, right? So this might be a fit for you if you like accurate typing or texting, and that's definitely something. I'm doing a lot of transactions this summer. Um, I'm in a couple of groups, and I need to make sure my texts look are readable and make sense. So anyway, that is how you use predictive text on the Note 3. And of course, if you have a Samsung device, you can try to see if the settings are similar so you can activate it on your own device Erica Swarthy Daisy, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.